how to get your ads to show up in the Google Map Pack. That's what I'm going to walk you through in this video. I'm going to walk you through step by step and show you exactly what you need to do so that you can make sure your ads show up in those Google Maps section. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Let's go do this. So firstly, what do these ads look like in Google Maps? I just did a really quick Google search here for Dentist Bondi. And as you can see here at the top of the listings are two sponsored ads. So these are ads that have linked to their Google business profile and set it up in such a way, which I'm going to show you in this video so that you can advertise in the maps section, which is above these organic results. So the first thing you need to do is you need to connect your Google ad account to your Google business profile. If I show you real quick in a live Google ad account, here we are here. I've gone to the tools section and you need to go to data manager. Inside your data manager is where you can connect your Google ad account to lots of different types of other products, be it Google Analytics, your YouTube channel, Merchant Center of your e-com, et cetera. So I've already connected some in this particular account, but if I scroll down here, what you need to do is you need to connect your Google ad account to your Google business profile. Word of warning here, the email address that you've used for your Google business profile ideally needs to match your Google ad account. If it does not match, it's going to have difficulty connecting them. So you'll probably need to add the email address you've used for your Google ad account inside the back end of your business profile. They need to match. Otherwise, Google's not going to do it. So if you click on this, um, it's going to ask you if I just go back a sec and uh, back again, it's going to ask you what types of locations you want to advertise. I'm going to do our location and then I want to connect to the business profile as opposed to chain stores. And then it's going to ask to find the business profile of the account that you own. Now, obviously in this account, I haven't got a business profile with the same email address, which is why it's saying to search for it. If it was, uh, then it would easily find that particular one. And then you could hit review and submit. If I show you real quick in another Google ad account, here we are in this other Google account and it already has got the business profile linked. If I just show you real quick, you can see here it's got um, it's linked to a business profile and it's got two locations that are associated with this business profile. So I've got the two accounts talking nicely to each other. The next step is to uh, enable that capability to show the ad in the map, which I'll show you real quick. So firstly, I go into a Google search campaign. You can only do this with a search campaign. You can't show an ad only in the maps and the maps only and nowhere else. This is only a feature that's enabled in conjunction with running a traditional Google search campaign. So I've gone into my campaign and I've got a whole bunch of ad groups in here. I do, it doesn't really matter. And I want to go to the asset section and then go to assets. Assets, you know, are now called assets. They used to be called ad extensions because they're extensions to your ad. And so this is a location extension to your search ad. So what I'm going to click here is I'm going to click on location. And as you can see here, I've already linked. Um, so it's picked up my business profile. But if I click plus, you'll see here it's found um, this campaign and it's got my one location group and it's linked and it's got to my business location. So if I click here, it's going to link it to this particular address, which is registered in the business profile. And then I can click save and that will ensure that my uh, pin of the map will show up in the maps ad. And really that's just how easy it is to do. So you've got to connect your business profile and then enable that lo location asset to your search campaign. So there you go. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe and maybe check out my website, teachtraffic.com for more training and information material. Thanks for watching.